Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority, as we cannot save our game anymore. Anyway, so, we got Reconstructing California because we finished up the focus last time. Right now, as you can tell, we are suffering a little bit from attrition, which isn't good, and I want to limit that. So we'll lose a little bit, so we'll lose less attrition, but gain more monthly population with Irrigating California. Ooh, Helios too. Hmm, I like these things. These make me happy. Let's rebuild Sacramento. And now we have no more Sac City. The fate of the Boneyard, the City of Angels. The Boneyard seems like a graveyard that stretches for miles under the hot sun, but Americans find a way in the Boneyard is prospered as part of the NCR. Hayes intends to set up a department of public art and entertainment in the city to serve as a nucleus of the America's entertainment industry. But as part of that development, we need to decide whether to change the city's name. City Angels, Boneyard for over 200 years. I like LA. So let's go with the new Dayglow next. Good afternoon, America. This is your president, and I want to tell you a great new plan. You might have heard of the solar plant outside New Vegas called Helios One, but did you know that it was only one of a series of plants intended to wean America off of fossil fuels before the Great War? A lone New Vegas Californian ball city could have never duplicated it. But working together, we are building Helios Two outside of Deglo as we speak to bring clean, affordable energy to Southern California. It's a new day, America. Soak up that sun, but make sure you put on your sunscreen. Anyways, uh, so we're pretty much out of political power right now, which is totally fine, and this is fine. We get a little bit more something and a little more electricity. Fuel. Cool. Didn't really need it, but I like it anyway. So, like I said at the end of the last episode, ooh, we actually have a little bit of manpower. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, actually, before we go any further, let's see if we can find any place that could use, perhaps, or has a lot of population. Oh, so I can court in the future, which co of course costs manpower. So we'll definitely do Shady Sand, Sacramento, Navarro has nothing, Sacramento might be the best place to do. Do one more place. So we have Sacramento, Shady Sands, and Greater Dayglow. Oh baby, oh yes. Oh, but we'll get there eventually. Definitely do that. Give me that manpower back. Yeah, do all that stuff. Yeah, give me that good stuff. Ah, oh, love it. Cool. Also, um... Oh, national focus canceled. Unpredictable attacks. Did we run out of army XP, maybe? We might have. I don't know. Why did it cancel? Oh, we need more than 30 army XP, which I guess I lost? And then cost 50 army... Oh, 50 army XP and 30 army... 50 army XP and more than 30 army experience. Alright then. Uh, well then I just go with home defense. Whatever. Oh, and we can also research something else. Yeah, missile launchers. Definitely missile launchers. Those sound like a lot of fun. So, we have improved anti-tank. We don't have any machine guns yet. Uh, hello? Uh, oh. Northwest California and we're getting attacked by... A single infantry division by the Boneyard people. Or by the Broken Coast people, I should say. Awesome. Uh, you guys, I doubt I can really pierce you. Kimmel Station is actually making a comeback again. No manpower. But <gasps> the Washington Brotherhood has no manpower either. Awesome. Give me half of you guys. Uh, do we have anything here? No. Okay. Sure. Sure. Oh, and do you have anything either... You are down. Go and train. I don't like seeing this. So. Uh. Whoa. What are you guys doing? Um. Okay, I don't like what you're doing, so just keep attacking. And you can send one division this way, too. Nice. Look at them. We can pierce them so well. Ah, oh, look at that. They can't even do anything. But I'm a little bit concerned about the coasts. Hmm. Let's, let's emphasize the Coast Guard first. As we slowly, slowly get more manpower and rebuild and re-irrigate and do all sorts of good stuff like that. Beautiful. Three days. It, I can tell the game is actually running up quite a bit more laggy since we started. Especially with the East Coast mod on, but that's okay. Ah, coffee. Good stuff. Nice, we got all that stuff done. God, are you going to keep attacking me like crazy? I guess you are. 
Um, do you, uh... Oh, we actually ha took a little bit of damage here. Oh, we actually found some ships. Oh, we actually need some of this. Okay, so it's pretty darn laggy that I kept clicking it, but it wouldn't work. Alright, alright, not bad. Minutemen, oh, the Minutemen lost. Oh, we are picking it, oh, I want to remind you. Oh, God, no, God dang it. But, um, we're picking this episode up right off where we left off last time. So, uh, God dang it, stupid broken coasts. But yeah, we're picking up right off where we left off last time. The Minutemen are dead. The Institute is alive and well, and the USS Art hasn't done very much. A vault? Something. They're still at war with the Ohio people, which kind of sucks. But, uh, I guess they're kind of done with their focus tree or something? I guess they can't really do very much? Hmm. Kind of disappointing. I want to see them do a little bit more, 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 more. But I need you guys to move very quickly. You guys stop training. You might as well try to stop this invasion. I mean, this, in the end, we'll, we will be able to kill these guys off pretty darn well. But at least we over a battleship here. It was still pretty good. Uh, go ahead and do convoy raiding. That actually might help out a little bit. Oh, hello there. God dang, we have to go around this entire thing. They've Just one division being a problem for us. A singular division. With you guys, go ahead and just... Alright, uh... I guess not... Don't do anything. Oh! Four Broken Coast Divisions. Nice. Oh, we're actually in a battle. Oh, against our light cruisers. Yeah, my light cruisers can't do very well, but neither can theirs. So that's good. Battleships. Love them. Are they still out of manpower? They are. Kimmel Station? So are you. Oh, they got a lot of divisions around here, though. That's not good. That's really not good. Can you come this way? No. No, you cannot. I wouldn't advise that either. I would advise an attack here, though. Get these guys out of here. Need to research logistic companies next. Overall, they can't really do very much. They're pretty well dug in, but we can pierce them, so... Really, not much is going to happen. And we got our divisions almost down here already. Cool. Uh, another battle? Nice. Just go ahead and everyone goes ahead and repair. Just go ahead and disengage, repair. Sunk even more convoys, very nice. And infantry have made it down here. Good. Go ahead and move in if you can. Oh my goodness, just take the port. Uh, I guess I'll use the infantry for stuff like that. You guys come down here. Come back down here. As long as they don't invade this area, that's, that's pretty important. Ooh. Nice. Have we... We've helped solve a little bit of the supply problem, I think. I could be wrong, though. Do that. Give me half of you guys. Attack this way. And you can probably give me one division here, too. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Another infantry division. I mean, the supply up here isn't very good at all. But whatever, you know. Things happen. Temple of Trials. Yeah, I guess we could try that a little bit more as well. I doubt we have any more... Oh, do this. Other things. Oh, man. We gotta finish this war off in less than a year. Oh, we actually might want to push now. Just because I can see that Kamal Station isn't doing well. So if we can limit the amount of manpower or supplies that the Washington Brotherhood has, the better off everyone will be. The more we attack, the less strong they will become. Good, and those guys were just stupid. And we're getting invaded again up here. Honestly, oh, nice. That's good to have. I'm going to need you guys help guard ports as well. So come up there. Uh, do these areas as well. Four. Five. Um, six. I only have, I have ten divisions. That's not bad. Eight. That's pretty good. And we already have one division over there, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think they can get into here. That's good. Nine, ten. Go ahead and do that for now. Uh, over here, just... I need logistic companies. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, we'll take a, we'll, we are definitely going to take more casualties as we continue to attack. But I think that's, that's pretty much worth it. 
Just because we kind of have to. Promote healthy families. Yeah, I'd love to do that, but I've got other things I would need to do as well. Every man a car. More stability. More supplies. Don't really need that at the moment. The Gek Project. Actually, let's do the Gek Project because we get horses, which lowers our supply use, which would be great. And I'm also, I also have coffee here and joined by my cat named Binky. Ah, uh, very good. Ah, uh, yes. Delicious. And they landed again. God, freaking, freaking dang it. Give me you guys. Just, actually, you guys would be better off doing that. Uh, let both of you do it. See what happens. Oh. We have a battleship. Oh, yeah. Everyone, don't even engage. Like, just go home. Like, no one do it. Oh, I lost it. God dang it. I lost the ship. Now I have no screens. And my battleship's batteries are knocked out. God dang it. That was really not worth it. Just no mission. Just repair. Because, good God, the repairing takes forever in this game. Or this mod. Jesus. Ugh. So bad. So, yeah, as long as we're pushing, the Kamal Station will struggle to survive. Manpower, we're doing okay, at least. We're doing okay with that. Uh, the Gek Project. Gunrunners. Thank you very much. We really don't need that much more equipment. We just need more people stationed in various areas. This is looking good, though. This is looking pretty darn good. They've lost a lot of guys. I've lost 257, so not bad, not bad. But by doing this, Kimmelt Station will rally back, hopefully. Uh, how about the, the, the situation for Broken Coast? They've got a good amount of manpower, still have a couple ships. Not bad for them, not bad for them at all. At least our ships are pretty much all here together. Repairing, well... They might not actually be repairing because there's only three factories of dockyards I put for this. So, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, let's just... Ooh. These light cruisers are almost done. That'll be great. That'll be really, really great. We got over a thousand manpower already. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we are getting attacked down here. And we clean these guys up. Nice. Go ahead and plop these guys out. I don't care if they're inexperienced. I just need divisions. Guarding coasts. Like, come on, guys. Ooh, advanced anti tank. Yes, daddy. Even more anti tank piercing. I think this is probably a little bit too much for me to pierce. Because, holy crap, 60 piercing. Just. They didn't even have a chance, man. They didn't even have a chance. But I still need to do more medical companies and stuff. Awesome. Doing a great job, guys. Attacking through here really sucks, though. Really, really does. Kimmel Station is still struggling. Still struggling, and that's okay. I will use this, though. I'm going to send my guys up north as well. I will need these guys to help take these guys out. We got some political power here. What? Oh, boy. Oh, the Gek Project. Horses! Although there was about 8 million horses in pre-war America, they all died out due to the Great War, nuclear winter, and hungry survivors. Now the EPA wants to use genetic engineering to revive horses and other large mammals rather than engineering death claws with laser guns. That sounds awesome! Death claws with laser guns? Supply consumption goes down and we get more reconnaissance. Plus 5% reconnaissance doesn't sound like much, which it isn't, but it sounds nice. Uh, I can't do vertebrate design team even though I would like to, because much like with tank designer, it's glitched out for me. Sucks. Oh well. Um, anything that gives me direct bonuses. I guess I do division attrition because more range doesn't matter really for this. Uh, attrition speed is okay. Air superiority, we pretty much already have it, so attrition is basically the best thing that we can do. Every man a car. The open road. Ooh, that, that looks pretty good. A railway. More infrastructure, which means more supplies, which means I'm going to do Department of Education next, because why not? Cool. Uh, let's see. Washington Brotherhood still doesn't have enough manpower. Great, great, great. I'm going to turn you guys down to be pretty aggressive until we can get our power armor up in the oh good god okay that's fine you guys are doing okay and I'm just gonna keep plopping these guys out if I can and we've got another power armor division finally 20 combat width Brahmin hurting nice um that's pretty I don't really need more resources actually at the moment it's more research speed though 
So, I need you guys to not be a bunch of bitches and actually move up here. I don't care about supply. Well, not too much. Because this, I don't want this to happen. I need you guys to come up here. Because this looks like a bunch of crap. So, really, move your booties up north. There's only so many divisions, and I need all the help I can get. Come out station, doing okay, doing alright. Push these guys back. Yeah, they won't be able to stop you. Oh my goodness. I really have to keep it, God dang it, an eye on this. Alright, you guys are doing great, though. I like what these guys are doing. Okay, power armor. They're still around here. In the south. Mm, and they're attacking us kind of back. Interesting. Nice. Not bad. Trying to link up these fronts. I like it. Alright, we're moving down. Good. As we get navally invaded again. God freaking dang it. Hmm. Honestly? How many divisions do I need to guard everything? Fifteen. Screw it. Give me your seven. Convert you... Immediately to rebel militia and just join the coasts. You wasted my time long enough. You guys need to do this a little bit better, guys. Like, seriously. Because this, I can't have this. Uh, but... I will deploy you immediately. Put you over here, up here, over to here. And do that. With Edward Anderson. No organization, no point really to attack. If I can do this and cut off the supply, then it's pretty much over for them then. Great. Oh, oh, that's a little bit of supply base, but whatever. That'll be fine. That'll be alright. Come up to here. Come up to here, and they take Port Ma. Port Ma. And you guys got in support. God dang it. Come on. God, the brotherhood, the armor I have just takes forever to move. One division that way. Maybe take one division that way. Link up with the Kemalt Station. That would probably be a smart move. As they are descending into our lands again. 36 divisions still. Alright. So be it. Throw you onto there. Uh, yeah, go right ahead. Oh, thank God we got logistic companies. That's good. Uh, do more medical companies. And immediately throw on logistics. No machine guns, I guess, this time. Mm, that's really what the best we can do. Yeah, just, you know what, just go ham. Because with all the division here, I think we should be able to exploit and just get into the capital as fast as possible. I think that'd be for the best. Mmm, gotta love coffee. Cool. And where they invade again. Oh, they're trying to invade down... Oh, they actually invaded down here, which is oh, kind of okay with me. Ooh, are you guys... You're finally all done. Oh, my goodness. Come back out. I gotta keep an eye on these guys. Ooh, but we can throw you on here as well. That will be fun. Now we got a lot of convoys for these guys. Department of Education. The establishment of a public school system, even if it will not for a great while extend beyond the cities, presents us with an opportunity. We can persuade the Wastelands youth that pre-war America was the best country on Earth, which it absolutely is, a land of Nuka-Cola fountains, prosperity, and of course, greatness. Or we can be honest and say it was full of mostly good people who made some real mistakes, like the ones that led to the nuclear wasteland we inhabit today. Given those options, it's hard to see any reason not to whitewash the past a bit. Who's going to tell them otherwise? The Institute might, actually. But, uh, ooh, nice. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. And we're immediately back into another conflict. You guys are still doing okay. Um, tell the kids about the time we conquered the moon. Actually, I kind of like that. Tell the kids about the mistakes that led to the Great War, where we lose war support. We gain a little bit more legitimacy, which I don't give a crap about. So we conquered the moon. Now, Enclave Education. <clears throat> we can also use public schooling to teach the world about the Enclave's noble goal of restoring America, a tale of how we shepherded our strength until we were ready to act. Some idealists have suggested we air our dirty laundry about the time President Richardson tried to kill all mutants, but really, why bother? My apologies about that. Let me see. 
I just had to block the door just in case. Alright, so, last time I said the Enclave was devoted to saving America, but the truth will set us free. So we lose legitimacy, some stability and more support, but I wanted to see what this would happen. And educating children about communism, Douglas was warned about the threat of communism in his youth. And a warned American is worth two. Ooh. Should we pass these lessons on to America's children? Uh, let the adults worry about things, or America's youth will be warned of the evils of communism. God dang right. All right. Civilian education or military education? Well, since we're getting more manpower, I don't think I need this. I think I went with civilian education last time. So, I think that'll be okay for me to do. Monthly, daily political power change, less monthly population. Ooh, I don't like that. Civilian education, free bottle caps, every man a car. We have a lot of, oh yeah, that's fine. Hopefully we can do this. Discipline soldiers once again. Awesome. Cool, we're doing a good job up here, which is good. So, go ahead and take these guys out. Just come up that way if you can. So we can get rid of these guys. Uh, you guys. Go them up here. Oh. There's a ton of ships around here. I'm going to tell all you guys, just... Uh, don't do that. Just everyone repair. And now, we're building a barge. We're building a lot of stuff. Convoys. I think we have enough convoys. Sailing ships. Let's build some more screens. That might be good. That might actually be worthless. I'm not really sure. So. Oh my goodness. This is a crazy mess. Do that. Just go right ahead. Because Kimball Station kind of needs the help. And we can do the same thing. Capital Wasteland. Cool. Oh. Nice. You guys are repairing. That's Actually, are you repairing or not? Ooh, baby. Another light cruiser sunk. How many ships does the Broken Coast have? I'm sure they have a lot. Just because they're really Navy focused. Yeah, they've got a lot of ships. Nice. Look at, we made an encirclement of 15 divisions. So good. So incredibly, oh, attacking there right now would not be a good idea though. Do that. Oh, you guys actually went up north and decided to cancel all that. All right then. Actually, you guys can probably do this and hurriedly come up to the Capitol Hill. As you guys should be moving a little bit more quickly than what I want you to do right now. Ooh, they took that back. Go right ahead. Oh, actually, can we? they can't pierce us, but we can pierce them. Good. Oh, we got a lot of... Oh, my goodness. I forgot we had so much political power now. Um, not like I can really use it. Ship designer. That's okay. N Ooh, capital ship attack and screen attack and defense. I'll give me that. I should have done that earlier. Um, it's close air support plus five percent plus three percent. All weather. Yeah, I'm going to go with close air support next, probably. Oh, how is uh, electricity? More than fine. Power grids. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't need all this stuff. This will be. This is kind of a waste to build. I thought I needed this against the war with the Western Brotherhood, but apparently not. God dang, this game has gotten laggy. It's almost... It's not as bad as Kaiserreich, but oh, baby Jesus. It's pretty laggy. Somewhat. Somewhat laggy. Cool. Just keep building all this stuff up. I will build a ton of infrastructure when needed. And actually, before I forget, this is not the only thing I'm going to build. Because we got a coming war that's going to really blast our socks off. Uh, getting attacked over there, that's fine. Cool. Core all this good stuff. But, but, and this is a huge but. Build this up. Because we're going to be at war with Kaiser's Legion before we know it. That'll be good. Yeah. That'll be really, really good to do. How many more days until we have until they are at war with us? We have... Okay, more than 200 days, which is good. Which should be more than enough time for us to kill off the Washington Brotherhood. And then focus on Kaiser's Legion. God, I love coffee and hoi four. But old world design. More construction speed. Thank you very much. Let's get some more monthly population. That'd be phenomenal. Awesome. Come on up here already, guys. No worries about these guys. 
These guys are just a bunch of bastards. You know how it, how it is. You know how it do. And Binky is licking his body. Ah, oh, I love Bibink. Bibink. A lot of divisions. A lot of death is going to happen right here. Um, go ahead and move up this way, actually. Very good. Very, very good. And unpredictable attacks three. We have so much piercing. We're doing this, which is good. Let's get some more soft attack, because we're really going to need that when we go to war with uh, Kaisar's Legion. Oh. Right, Bibink. Oh, actually, Binky wants to leave me. Binky. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to leave. Just kidding. He's allowed to leave as we watch. Oh, we actually have a border with Kamal Station. Nice. Do this. Do that. Go ahead and finish this war off as fast as possible as I let Binky out of my room. Bibink? Is it okay, Bibink? Come on. Come on, Bibink. Bye-bye. And there goes Bibink. What a great cat. 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 Not kid. I've got a... I hope I don't have kids. Kids are expensive. Just saying. But anyways. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, I'm glad the Washington Brotherhood got really bogged down by Kimolt Station, which really worked out well for us. But yeah, we gotta start thinking about Kaisar's Legion. I'm surprised they haven't had Kaisar pass away in this game save yet. But that's a lot of manpower. That's quite a few divisions, definitely more than us. Oh, man. I think when we're done with the war with Kaisar's Legion, I'm going to convert pretty much all my divisions into... Power armor. I think that'd probably be for the best. Let's go ahead and increase this by a little bit first. Rebel militia. I don't need to save so much on manpower anymore, so I don't mind doing this. Supply usage. I don't think that will be really of a concern with those guys. And this. Close air support. Michael Schultz. Hello there. Do we have more gunships? Hallelujah. It's rain and men. More gunships. Yeah. Uh, do that. Fighters. A lot of fighters, but none of the fighters that I want. I don't mind using some crappier fighters in the F. Ooh, Disciplined Soldiers. 185s? Was it? Something like that? Do that when you can. Nice. Nah, so those. How many divisions died there? Holy crap. Rank and file infantry. Lose us planning to be able to get more division organization, recruitable population, and division recovery rate. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah, go, get on up there, guys. How's, how are the ships doing? Repairing, where are you guys at? Oh, you're down south, that's fine. Yeah, don't split them off anymore. Just spend time talking about them, about their feelings, how they're thinking, you know, just building and repairing and all sorts of good stuff like that. Give me one more of these. Stim packs, nice. And, if you couldn't tell, you, you might not have been able to, uh, someone just left a comment and, um, now I can't get to my notifications, or my factions. Oh, well. That's alright. Cool. So, yeah. Let's just keep beating the crap out of the Washington Brotherhood. Having a great time. Oh, I can't get out of this. Oh, hold on. I lied. I can. Cool. Stupid Windows 10. Windows 10 won't let me, like... It'll give you notifications, which I'm, which I'm sure I can turn off. But I don't know how to do that yet. And because of that, there's a notification on my bottom right. So I can't see my faction button, or my naval button, or my air superiority button. So... That's right, I'm a superior superior person. At least in terms of air. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you guys to move. Yeah, Brotherhood, just... Teach these guys who the real Americans are. Ooh, we're we getting navally invaded. Yeah, we are, but at this point, I think we've got enough coverage on the coasts. I think we do. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before about things. I'm gonna do that. Hold military theory committees in the middle of a war. Hundred, less than 200 days before we go to war with Kaisar's Legion. So be it. Do something like that. That'll be good. Just go ahead and start beating the snot out of them. They attack us. We defend well. We beat the snot out of them. We attack even better. Ah, uh, they're not even close to capitulating. We've lost 600... Oh, that's cursed. Oh, that's really cursed. Holy crap. But, yeah, we've killed... 15,500 Washington Brotherhood members. While we've taken less than 700 casualties. That's flippin' insane. I love piercing. I love the Republic. I love democracy. Except we can't have democracy until we reunite the wastes. So, I'll take a rain check on democracy for now. Cool. And actually, okay, so Broken Coast is not a major power, which is really good, because if they were, we'd have some serious issues. Or at least I would. Hmm. <clears throat> Gotta love that coffee, man. 
Gotta love that I use the power armor in the end. Just wrap up this stupid enemy. But yeah, but once Kaiser's Legion is gone, um, I'm just going to start declaring war on pretty much everybody. It shouldn't be extremely hard to defeat everyone, and especially moving across the Midwest to the East Coast. But I can tell the Mormons are probably going to give us some trouble. So that's not going to be great. Quite unfortunate. Oh well. Oh, oh, we take the Capital Wasteland. Cool. Just take this. Take this. Just kind of travel around. Rapid response division. You know what to do. Oh, actually, Enclave Remnants. Let's let time go on. Yes, I have some extra factories, but at this point, factories really don't concern me too much. We got a pretty good amount of supply. Um, we got a lot of good stuff here, man. A lot of good stuff. Give me more fighters, I guess. Give me some more power armor, because we're going to need it, so. It's just... Infantry is, can be so good if you know how to use them correctly with, with the right support equipment. Really good. Go ahead and do that. Uh, new American Army, we can't do that yet. I've done nothing for the Air Doctrine. Huh. Or the Navy. But there, we get a bonus to Naval Doctrine, which doesn't even matter since we don't... It's not even available. Which is fine, but whatever. Uh, let's go next with free bottle caps. Let's see what happens with that. End of bottle caps. 163 days, half a year until we go to war with Kaiser's Legion. Which will be a little intimidating, I suppose. Oh. Very nice. Even more ships have been sunk. Keep giving me that naval XP, which means something, not very much. Oh, you're actually repairing still. Go ahead and repair as well. I mean, doing that's okay. Awesome. Come on, guys. Ooh, actually... Very nice. Pre-war housing, nice. More multi-population, love it. Um, yeah, we can do more cap and growth. Cap and growth, I love it. Invest in your stocks. Go ahead and come up, take this back. The Washington Brotherhood has lost so much. I would love to end this episode with us defeating these guys, but it might not just happen. We got encircled, god dang it. But that's all right. Uh, how are you guys doing in the south? Oh, you're just continuing to take more and more land. I don't. I know I don't need to take all this territory, but just keep moving, guys. Precise targeting, good, good. Let the hate flow through you. More recon would be great against Kaiser. I don't know if he has piercing. He might have some things to pierce me with. Maybe not. I don't exactly remember. Advanced circuitry for even more research speed. Hallelujah. Do more decryption. No, we've already done that. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Awesome! Cool, so we beat these little shambolis up. I'm not sure why I say shambolis. Um, Kamult Station, you would have died if I didn't save you, so I'm going to take everything. Thank you very much, and thank you so very much. So, that'll be the end of this episode. Oh my goodness. And in the next, we're going to end up in a war against Kaiser's Legion. Look at this. Where's our name? Oh, our name's all the way up here. Enclave Reconstruction Authority. We have 400 factories. Oh, we're going to have one hell of a time with Kaiser's Legion. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we rebuild the Pacific Northwest. Thanks for watching.